Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Gabrielle De La Garza, um, aka the New York Doctress, and today I'm gonna be reading your cards. I'm so excited. So I don't know yet who um, it's gonna be, but by the time this video is posted, we'll know. So um, let me just so I have like this whole setup thing right now for you guys. Um, if you're not familiar with tarot, if I already said I was reading your cards or not, um, Basically, I'm going to just get like an idea of your energy, what's going on in your life, whether it has to do with business or romance, like it's not specific um, at this point in time. We're just going to like wing it, see what happens. I'm like super excited because I feel like I've just been like feeling everything all day and I was just like, I couldn't wait. So I'm just going to clear, this is my safe, I'm going to clear out the car, freshen things up. I'm super excited. So I'm doing like this new thing where I pick out the sign like while we're basically like quote unquote live like recording. I just don't do it too much because I'm in my car. Okay, just clear out the energy, make everything all good. I got my little tray, I'm just gonna keep it over here. All right, let's see who is going. Where did we put it? Okay. So normally I would do this on YouTube, but anytime I put up music, they copyright me, so it's just super annoying. All right, I'm excited. <laughs> like, I don't know who it's gonna be. This is my very first one, so whoever this is, your first baby. I feel like whoever this is, like, I'm getting, like, I get... I like really good happy energy like I'm like stoked like ready to go right, who is this I'm so nervous okay ready three two one of course it comes up backwards Sagittarius I was not expecting that oh my god oh there can you see it barely I don't know. Sagittarius. Alright, so, but as you can see, so the coin, every coin has, like, the sign on it. So, you came out first. I, I don't know what's going on with you guys because I was not getting you. Okay, let me see if I'm just, like... All right, what deck are we gonna use? I have everything set up here for everyone. I'm super excited. Sag, what deck should we use? Um, I feel like you're feeling very, like, it's weird, like very sure of yourself. Like there's something that you're like very sure about, like within yourself or with somebody else. You're not, but like, I feel like right now, like how like, it's like, like, I feel like, like, you're, com like, you're just taking your time not to be annoying, but, like, because, like, you don't feel like you have to be rushed. Like, there's something about, like, you're not feeling rushed to do something, or, and I feel like that's good. Like, you shouldn't have, like, like, everything is working out in, like, a perfectly timed manner. Okay, let's go with these guys, because this is what I was thinking. So Sagittarius, what else for Sagittarius? It's so like, what are the messages? I hate when that. Happens. I feel like something's repeating itself. But yeah, like you're. See, I just heard here you're a devil undercover, and then like the card that fell out was the Five of Wands. Which to me is like a cover up and see like even right here seven of swords like sneaky Something in the dark, but what's weird is it feels like Smooth or soft or very like elegant 
something's elegantly like on time like perfect timing but like there's like a sneakiness about it like i don't know like i want to see a surprise party like maybe there's some surprise like some i don't know something about the surprise party i don't know <laughs> like i don't want to ruin anything all right what's going on with sagittarius yeah your energy is on point like i i feel nothing but happiness like contentment super just like knowing of yourself something about like being woke or like staying awake or like maybe staying like literally staying awake like i was thinking he's more spiritually but as i'm saying it like something about like being up like maybe you have to stay up late or like or maybe you are staying up late and you need to get more sleep Sagittarius. Maybe that's what i need to tell you like to sleep a little bit more like get those full eight hours something about like you getting full eight hours of sleep is like crucial to like your daily progression like, like what you do daily on a daily basis, whether it's like a job or whatever, the, whatever it is, if you're mom in it, you know, like something about getting that sleep is okay. What's so crazy to me is like, so what I'm feeling from you guys is like very happy, very giddy, very like. Oh, like very energetic at first right but like all of a sudden like I'm out of breath and I feel a little like not like exhausted like uh, uh, like like I feel like you said Terrence you're feeling a little like like just like I don't want to say you're doing too much in a day it's like like something needs to be organized or planned and like it's very specific how it's being planned um You could feel overwhelmed by this. I'm also, honestly, like, I'm going to be so serious with you. Like, I'm also seeing, like, some sort of a heartbreak for sure. Like, these are the three cards that fell out. Like, look how dark they are. Look how, like, like she's sitting here, like, just kind of, like, maybe empty or, like, so, like, whatever. You, like, I feel like there's, like, I feel like I remember getting this another time too. It's like a suppressed thing. It's like nobody sees this. Like I feel like I'm pulling out your insides right now. Oh my God, that sounds so weird. But like I feel like I'm literally getting like a picture of what inside of you feels like. And again, this isn't going to be for every single Sagittarius out there. Like that's completely impossible. Um, so like some messages might be for you. Some messages not. But you know, don't make, you know, if the story fits, it fits. But don't make it fit. Um, cause I'm just picking up on energy. This could be for one person. This could be for a couple people. This could be for everyone. This could be for no one. You know, it changes. Anyway. Um, yeah, like here I, there's like a house with like, and it's like blocked off. So like, I feel like ha the house in here almost like represents who you are. And there's like, just like a heartache, like completely like, I don't know like it's almost consuming like i feel like this consume like something about some sort of a heartbreak like consumes your thoughts like way more frequently than it should i don't want to say than it should like oh you're doing something wrong but like there's other things that like could you could be thinking about and for whatever reason this is like taking over so i feel like you have to be aware like you're almost trying to like pretend like it's not there and it's actually just making it like settle more it's like concrete it's like all right you can either like deal with it right away or you can let it set and then it's you're gonna have to hammer it you know what i'm saying it's like you can't just you can't just let it sit there you have to deal with it or else it's just gonna set and you're gonna be it's gonna be there for good and it's gonna be even harder to deal with later so something about that like this like heartache that you're dealing with and i feel like nobody knows about it like i feel like it's something that's not from recently at all i feel like it's something from like could be years ago or a year ago or two years ago like some like really like relationship that just like had a hold on you you probably with this person for a really long time like maybe thought you were gonna marry them um but there's something about this relationship that needs to be healed like still within you like you don't have to go talk to this person or heal it with them it's like something that you have to heal within yourself for sure i'm definitely getting that um yeah let me show you the cards again so like the three of swords is heartbreak 
and she's just like sitting here kind of like festering but it's like this is you there's a house here and it's kind of blocked off by these wands it's like the house like in the way that I'm getting it it's like the house is representative of you like your home your house your you you know and what's going on on the inside so you definitely need to deal with it stop sitting on it you know and 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 take care of those feelings because they're not going to go away. And I feel like maybe you have any dreams about it too. Like you ever have like those awkward like extremes? Like I feel like that's like going on. And I feel like it's sort of bringing old things back that you're like, oh, I thought I was over this. Like you are over it, but you have to like, like feel it and let it go. Like remember that mad and then let it go. Remember the hurt and let it go. Like you have like a little like layer of protection almost, I want to say. Of like a, a protection in, in a sense that like it can't hurt you anymore or whatever it is. So it's better to like think about it consciously to know that you're going to be healing it rather than like letting it pop up and be like, oh, why am I thinking about this? And like, and then like getting mad at yourself for thinking about it. <laughs> like, I love you, Sagittarius. Oh my God. Okay. So my cards are mixed up and I specifically thought I did, I was shuffling them and so that they were all facing the same way. Um, and the devil just came up. Like, I feel like he, like, I don't feel like he fucks with you. Like, he's like, oh, are you, are you really done yet? Like, are you really over this person, right? Like, you'll be doing your, like, or whatever it is. It could be, like, a job. Like, there's something that you're not over. Like, it could be a friend that hurt you. You know, like, it could be all sorts of, like, it, it's something that, like, hit you deep. You know, like, with the Three of Swords, though, like, now that I'm remembering, it's, like, that's a heartbreak, but it could be anything. It could be anything. Like, I, it could go both ways. So, like I said, don't make the story fit. Like, if it fits for you, like, take the message for what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, every person's situation is different. So, I'm going to pick up on different things. But the message is still the same. It's like, you have to learn how to, like, go through it. But I'm getting the devil, like, tests you, like, consistently. To, like, like, you'll have these dreams on purpose to say, okay, like, how much are you over this situation? How are you going to react in this dream? If this person comes back, like, I'm just using this as an example. Like, if your ex comes back to you that you haven't spoken to, you know, in a year and says, hey, you want to have, like, a drink? You want to come over? You want to talk? Like, how are you going to react to that? Like, are you going to do the right thing? Are you going to give in? You know, like, I feel like you shouldn't if that's the case. Like, if your ex contacts you and you haven't spoken to him or you ended things or something happened where you guys, like, it didn't end right like there was like infidelity whatever the case right and it's like i i feel like i'm supposed to tell you like you need to not yeah like this just fell out like not manifest it like you need to not go with it like that's completely the devil 100 percent. like he, yeah have strength like you have to literally have strength to not manifest this like relationship that you've already been through or already know how it turns out like it doesn't matter if they're being nice to you right now like remember when they were being nice to you then and then weren't being nice to you you know like i'm just gonna be keep it real with you so and tell you what i'm getting but like strength at the bottom like be strong don't manifest it back into your life you know how it ends it's gonna end the same time the same way every single time <sighs> I, don't know why. I just got so like do you see what like but i think this is your energy like serious but happy but like very like Mm, I I don't know. I kind I love it. It's very fiery. It's very fiery, and I do. I enjoy every second of it. Said, oh my god, I love you. Okay, my stuff is like it's still mixed up. Something is still mixed up with you guys. Like you keep trying to like. Okay, okay. This I I'm trying to get it. So I'm trying to get away from this relationship thing, and I feel like that's what you're doing. Like you're trying to get away from it, but something still like keeps you coming back or keeps like getting messed up like you need to fully like detach yourself from whatever this thing is it could be a friend too for some of you like because i just thought i had it right and then it was mixed up again so like you keep, keep thinking that you're doing it right but then the same thing keeps happening like you have to know i think there's something that you're still doing over and over again even though you think you're not like you have like I don't know. It's does that make sense? That, that if, if that if it's your story, that makes sense. Okay, I'm not gonna get like too too much into it. The lovers, yeah, it's okay. And for some of you, it really is a relationship, like new beginnings. You are really like in, invested in this person, though. Like there's like something about like a real true investment, like which is why like this is like still pulling on you. But you can do better. I'm getting like whoever this is you could do better if this is your story this is definitely someone's story like there's no you don't deserve this like this song is on right now all right what else for sagittarius and then we're gonna end it because i'm gonna make these quick so i can get everyone done 
or else I could do an hour for all of you for sure. But as I get more into it, like I'll do it and if you guys like it, then even more so. Because I love, love, love doing this for you guys. Any other advice for Sagittarius? Um, anything to do with love or business? Advice? I feel like that needed to be said. And like, I feel like something needs to be said and then never talked about again too. There's something about that. There's something that needs to be discussed, but then never spoken about with someone. Like it can't keep getting brought up over and over again. Like there's gotta be one more conversation and then over. Wow. So by not manifesting like another relationship with someone who's hurt you, you will ultimately get out of this situation. Remember, this is the first card that came up. Don't manifest. You won't manifest this anymore. You, th there's like a lesson that's coming up for you for sure. You're going to have like a dream or you're going to have something that's going to happen in your life and it's going to bring up something old and you're going to be tested like, oh, should I call this person? Should I text them? Should I reach out? Like there's going to be something that's going to prompt you to maybe want to do it. That is like devil energy trying to trick you into seeing, okay, did you learn your lesson? If you don't manifest that back and you don't follow, like, don't, in a good way, like, don't follow through with, like, what the devil's kind of trying to, like, I don't want to say the devil because it's devil energy. There's no, like, devil. It's energy. So, like, by the bad energy saying, like, oh, like, that's that, hmm, like, should I call this person? Like, I, like it could be something stupid. Like, like, I'll even give you, for example, like, my ex still has, like, my, I bought, like, my daughter, like, one of these playhouses. Um... For her birthday it was like a couple hundred bucks whatever but like we brought it there and then like it was like one, we just forgot to like take it out of his house so he's had it ever since and like i remember like and i'm giving you this example because it's going to be something really similar to this like like i remember thinking one day like i really want that back like i'm annoyed like i bought that for her for her birthday blah 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 whatever like you know what i'm talking about and <laughs> and i felt like I had to, I had a choice to make, like, should I, like, reach out, like, do I really want it that bad, or, like, what I ended up ultimately thinking was, this thing is replaceable, there's no rhyme or reason for me to really reach out, like, it's, it's not gonna, I really wanted the house back, and I actually thought to myself, like, you know what, like, I can replace that, like, I don't need to keep, like, because when you, because that's a thing, Right, but interacting with somebody, that's energy that you're wasting, not wasting, but like using with somebody else. So you like have to be super careful about who you do it with. And if like you spend X amount of time not talking to somebody, like you don't wanna be weak. You don't wanna go back to it. Like it is gonna be the same thing. Of course, right away, it's gonna seem like it's different, but it's not, you know? Like I feel like I have to say this. Oh my God, I hope you don't think I'm a terrible person, but I feel like that's the case. And by not doing it, like you are, you will, you won't be sad anymore. Like it's almost like you're gonna get like, Oh, that's like sigh of relief like yes I am over this and then you're gonna move on and feel so much better I feel like you're gonna like get something for that I just I feel like you're gonna feel even better about yourself so just stay strong whatever the situation is you have something coming up you have a lesson um you're gonna know what it is you're gonna be like damn this is what it fucking is like and I feel like you're gonna be so ready for it so I'm super excited for you Sagittarius I love you um this is a little longer than I thought it was gonna be but whatever it is what it is okay Mwah. bye guys I'll see you soon